What's up, it's Blaine's Plant Vlog, and I'm actually here checking out the Orinoco banana plants today. I gave them some nice water and fertilizer, and I'm just questioning, how am I gonna overwinter these giants? Uh, I'm gonna overwinter one at least, and overwintering is the process of uh, storing them for winter to keep them from dying back, because I know these guys can't do well uh, in a freeze. And I know that for from experience from last year. Um, I had a, I had a, a other banana plant that's in the backyard now that's 12 months old not as tall as this one i think it's the same variety but i'm not too sure hopefully it is because if it is then uh well we'll find out but this is an orinoco i know that and um i just really hope i figure out a way to overwinter these these are four months old four months old and um you still got about three to four months left to go and i have watched videos on orinoco bananas that fruited at 10 months 10 months guys these are appro approaching halfway point eight to ten months old i've heard and um but that doesn't make any sense because the one in the backyard is the same variety as these and the one in the backyard is at 12 months and it has not flowered why why guys is it the method i used for overwintering i dug it up and i dug it up and stored it over winter and i replanted did that reset the system did that reset the plant I do not know if that resetted the whole system, but I kept all the leaves and the whole stem, so it shouldn't have, but it's not flowering. It's at 12 months old. I'm going to give it some time to really make sure. So how am I going to overwinter? I do know, I've seen videos where people bubble wrap them, wrap a bunch of bubble wrap around the trunks and also some of the stuff, but that doesn't ever work. I saw the aftermath videos and climate like this I have, where we have those sudden drops in temperatures down to 10 degrees sometimes with long periods under freezing that will fail miserably and um the only way i know that overwintering successfully at least the getting the grill again at their height is by simply digging them up and i don't know if that resets anything down set resets its system but um it must have because the one in the backyard isn't fruiting and it's only five feet six feet tall of stem while these are almost double that height of stem uh, so I don't know guys. I don't know how the system of banana plants work if they get uprooted if that resets something But it that isn't flowering yet. I'll give it some time Because I can't say for sure, but how do you guys think I should do these? I really want to have front yard banana plants flowering next year and These technically did get an earlier start than the one in the backyard the one in the backyard has I received as a small plant back in August Yes that's right. There's probably the key there. August. I received it as a small pup in August. When right now we're in August, and these guys are not pups. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty sure next time, if I try one of these in overwinter, uh, these will definitely flower for next year if I dig one up and replant it back in spring. Cause I know that works well. Cause these guys have a lot of water in them, and when they have a lot of water they will not die in, in the garage but yeah guys uh what do you guys think i should do what's the best way what works should i try overwintering with bubble wrap or should i not i might try digging this one up bubble, wrap, bubble wrapping this one and doing nothing to this one uh but like i said guys um i know bubble wrap will probably not work because it never does i had never tried it but i've seen videos that have in my zone and it doesn't work it works it does not work so there's, if there's no other way i was going to think about taking um i was going to think about doing the, the strategy where you do a pin and you fill it up with straw and hay up to about this tall and that does work i've seen videos that does work very well but that's just a lot of effort and money not a lot of money that's not the problem it just looks ugly this is the front yard guys we do not want to have a massive pile of straw just sitting right here. That would look very ugly. But another reason, another way to do it is string lights somehow with some power supply. Wrap the whole thing in really warm lights. That will work too. And bubble wrap it. But there, then there's a risk of fire. So, you know, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think I should do?